Hey everyone, my name is Amber. I'm a first year fifth grade teacher and welcome back to my channel. So I wanted to give you guys the inside scoop on my lesson planning as I am prepping for another week. So let's get into it. Come and lesson plan with me. So this is my lovely planner. I actually got it off of Amazon. I'll have it linked down below. So when going into a week, of planning, I like to first organize my planner by writing out the month and then each day for the week. And then I'm specifically going to be planning out math with you guys. So I will write in the different aspects of my math block that I like to teach. This includes daily math, warm up, a mini lesson, and then center time. So for centers, I have five different centers for the week. I have my small group, math technology, number work, math writing, and partner games. So throughout the week, whenever it is center time, my students get their choice of what center they want to work on for that day, and they work on them at their own pace throughout the week. Unless if they are in my small group, and I take one small group each day. So I had to go back in and rewrite this with a new color because my blue is running out of ink. So we're in a darker blue now, but starting off with daily math, we have five different problems that the students will solve Monday through Thursday, and they will either come up to the board and explain their thinking throughout the problems, or we will do them as a whole group. And then on Friday, they will take their daily math quiz. As I plan, I like to organize things in my lesson planning cart for the next week. So this is all of Monday's plans. And as you can see on the top there, that is our daily math for the next week with five problems for each day. After daily math, we usually go into a warm up problem. So for this week, we are doing input and output tables along with coordinate graphs. So we will have a different graph and input output table for each day of the week, Monday through Thursday. And this is a little insight into what that looks like, daily math and warm up. After warm up, we go into our mini lesson portion of math. Sometimes I do mini lesson before warm ups on Mondays because it's usually introducing the new knowledge for the week. So this week we are learning coordinate planes, ordered pairs, patterns, and input output tables. So I like to do a notes page or anchor chart with the students to introduce the content. I always make sure there's a little extra time on Monday to go over the centers for the week so the students are clear on what they're doing in each center. And on Tuesday, our mini lesson will be a pattern and plane plus exit ticket notes page. So organizing that into our Tuesday drawer, there is our notes page and there's a little glimpse of our science and social studies plans for the day. Moving on to our Wednesday mini lessons, we will do a patterns and relationships notes page. So just more practice with this skill. We will do this both whole group and then some parts individually. So I'll go over to my Wednesday drawer and that's the plans for Wednesday. So by Thursdays, students are more familiar with the skill, and this Thursday's mini lesson will be a matching practice that the students will do with their table groups. So in my Thursday drawer, I have a bundle for each table to match the rules, ordered pairs, and coordinate graphs. On Fridays, we put their knowledge to the test with a lesson quiz. So looking in our Friday drawer, we have our lesson 20 quiz. It's very similar to the formatting of our warm ups for the week. I find it helpful for students to have something that they're familiar with in order to really showcase the knowledge they've learned. And on Fridays, once students finish their daily math quiz and their lesson quiz, I give them time to complete their centers. And if they finish all of their work for the week, they earn Fun Friday, which is some free time. 
Speaking of centers, for my small group this week, I planned out a challenge, an exit ticket to work with the students on. Math technology is the same for every week. They have to get 45 minutes on iReady. My number work center, I have a patterns and ordered pairs number sort on PowerPoint that they can complete. And math writing is a rule, pattern, and plot practice packet. <laughs> That's a tongue twister. Partner games for the week is an ordered pairs warship, which is basically like battleship with ordered pairs. As I compile these plans the week before, I just put everything in this pink basket so it is ready to go whenever I wanna switch it out in my centers section. So as you could see, that was the number work page what explained the PowerPoint. This is math writing, just some paper practice for them. This is the challenge that I have to work with them in my small group for the week and the exit ticket on the back. And this is that battleship game for ordered pairs that I was talking about for partner games. And this is the centers section that I have in the back of my classroom with all of the center supplies for the week. And I forgot to show it in this clip, but I do have a little laminated piece of paper for math technology that just says 45 minutes of iReady. During center time, I pull up this Google Slides that I made that lists out all of the centers for the week and the student names for who I'm meeting with in small group. One of my favorite parts, as I complete things, I go through and check them off. So I'll also put in there a little C for the things that I need to copy or a C-U-T for things that I need to cut or an L for the things that I need to laminate just to keep myself organized because it is a lot of materials for a week. And after finalizing it all out with my handwritten plans, I type them all into my lesson planning template on the computer. So I have my centers and then what I'm doing for each day of the week and any materials that I need. And these are the plans that I submit to my school. This is a little glimpse into what my science and social studies plans look like on the computer for the week. I know this lesson plan with me was mainly focused on math, but I would be happy to plan out science and social studies with you guys as well. My final step. After I finish them on the computer, I print it out and put it in my lesson plans binder to be able to refer to throughout the week. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoy getting an inside scoop into my lesson planning. I know that this one was mainly focused on math, but I would be happy to plan some science and social studies out with you guys as well in the future. I hope everyone continues to have a great day. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I can't wait to see you guys in another video in the future. Thanks so much for watching. Bye friends.